trying to fix the inner fender here. Let's take a look at what we need. So we have quite a few pieces missing. So what we do is we take a basic profile shape and put it in there that we can use on our brake to make our patch piece. So here we have our patch. We're gonna have to dimple it to uh, clearance the uh, trim attachment bolts. So here's roughly where the holes would be for the trim. And this is roughly where we need to do the dimples. Going through our garage junk, it looks like a one and an eighth socket is our closest side so we've used that to draw the arcs where we need to do our beading we're leaving this fat right now uh, fatter than uh, where we're gonna piece it because as we beat this this extra material will help hold the shape of the overall patch it seems like a piece of half inch pvc is going to give us about the curve we want so we're going to use a ball peen hammer and hammer our patch into the edge of the PVC and see what happens. So here's the first one done. Not the prettiest thing I've ever seen, but it's underneath the car, so should be okay. Put a little undercoat on, nobody will be the wiser. I'll try and film the, how I do the next one. not too shabby. The idea is to stretch the metal. You need to flatten it out a little bit here. The, um, the body washer, the trim washer, needs to fit flat in this plane. And we're not quite there yet. So we're gonna have to do a little dedicated flattening in this area. Getting close, getting all that much closer. Still need to flatten out this area here. We're gonna move over and hit on the vise to stretch it a bit. The wood doesn't have the stretching properties that the metal would.
So we did get our reliefs dinged into this panel. I wanted to point something out. We've, we've cut out the old original piece and the original piece does fit in here. Fits reasonably well. Looks like the reliefs are good enough. The problem or the challenge is it doesn't have quite the right curve at the top. Note the space between the two panels. So I need to uh, curve this out a little more. Uh, one thing to note when you have a legend like this till you do three angles if you're off the least little bit on either of the other two the third one's going to be off exponentially which is which is the case here so um, we can see that kind of summarizes the problem but um, here on the existing panel let's see if i can do this one-handed <clears throat> Yeah, there we go. This is even off a little bit on the original panel. You can see the uh, the one one curve isn't in tight enough. So in any case, we'll we'll begin massaging this panel. Try and um, raise this curve up up to here. It's a little difficult with these uh, reliefs punched in there, but that's just the nature of the beast. One other point: we did want to have a slight uh, curve to this to to match the general curve of the panel. So you can see there is still a slight curve there. So that's been retained in large part because we left it fat up here. All right. So what we've done to change the curve is we've used this old piece of railroad tie as an anvil. So here's the, here's the profile. We're looking at this curve right in here. And uh, what we did, we took this guy and put him here against this profile of the anvil. used our tea dolly as a hammer and beat a tighter and longer curve in there. The other thing we're going to do now is we're going to um, sharpen up or actually dull these edges here on these reliefs. And uh, we're using the edge of the slapper here to do some hitting and to dull those a bit. And finally, a little rounding on the T dolly. So we've got our patch pretty well formed. However, how do we set it up with the inner fender well to make sure that the outer fender is in the proper position? Everything's all floppy because so much has been rusted away and cut away. Well, the um, trim, the heavy molding here, actually has a, a rigid piece behind it that runs most of the length of the molding, which gives the quarter panel part of its shape. So we're using this molding to give the proper uh, outside curve to the uh, quarter panel front to back. So what that looks like inside is right here. You can see uh, we have some screws holding the patch panel against the wheel well. Try and back up so we can see a little bit better. And the vice grips here. Uh, are holding on to the molding clips that have broken off because they're rusty as I took the piece off. So you can see that the uh, patch panel is pretty tight to the main part of the wheel well. That would be from here down to, to here. And uh, it is a little bit long. We have a mark right, uh, right about here. There's a mark which shows where the quarter panel repair patches or repair pieces meet. The front piece uh, starts here and the rear piece starts here and goes back. So this 
allow some overlap between those two pieces. Obviously, we're going to have some more cutting and piecing to do as we um, get up into there. The point, though, is to build the inner structure against what's left of the outer structure. That way, we can properly configure the outer structure and get a position that it can accommodate the fender skirts. No small task, right? Here you can see how the uh, trim has this reinforcing piece of steel inside that gives the trim its shape, which we use to form the quarter panel, the quarter panel shape uh, with the inner panel that is. And you can see where three of the um, bolts were cut off because uh, they were too rusty to unbolt. So that's what, we're, what, what tips were grabbed by the vice grips under the fender there. So you can see here too how the patch panel, we've made the holes through there to help align the trim holes. Uh, that'll allow us to translate the trim holes uh, to the new panel from the inner piece once we take off the outer panel. So here we have the rear part of the quarter panel patch mocked up. And we have it in about the proper position where the fender skirt would fit. It's about the right width of the wheel well. The challenge is we can't fit the fender skirt because this edge isn't beveled back like the factory quarter or the edge of the fender skirt are. So uh, we've marked this location. There's a scratch mark there. So we know how far back to go with this piece. And of course the front of the quarter is still intact. So we have that as a reference point. Another consideration, we can see that there's a bit of a, a gap right here. Uh, the panel has a, a bit of a flaw to it. There's a low spot right there. So I, I think it's a function of getting this curve and, and this curve, the compound curve, just didn't stretch enough. Uh, we sort of reaffirm that using this piece of trim. And we can see too that it's, um, it's good and loose right there, confirming our low spot. So I think a uh, planishing hammer might um, work that a bit to stretch that low spot. Ultimately, we're going to cut this flange off because we're going to butt weld this, but I don't want to lose too much of the shape. So we'll try and stretch this with the planishing hammer before we cut the, uh, the edge off. So what we're going to do next is we're going to slice this um, edge of the patch that we put in previously. That's the inner fender wall patch. We're going to try and approximate the curve that's needed uh, to come down here. This is just going to form the basis for a filler piece that will go on the inner fender there. Uh, what we use for that, this um, small um, grinder cutoff wheel tool, and I use a 132nd inch thick disc uh, for small things like this because there's a little more precision and frankly it cuts a little faster because you're making a, a, a smaller slit, you're moving less metal. So we have our quarter panel mocked up. It's not quite far enough back uh, for the fender skirt. Let me try and uh, show this properly. So if we look at this corner, we're good there, but we're a little, a little too thin right there. The quarter really needs to slide back, which means I need to trim a little more off of the inner quarter to, to give it the rearward uh, clearance that it needs. But in the meantime, let's crawl underneath and take a look at what we need. Uh, patch-wise, which is the goal here. So here we're going to need to fill this gap here. So I think we'll begin to form a uh, paper template to, um, to fabricate that section. Also, this um, patch that we had done previously, we're going to be cutting off some of that at the end. I'm just not quite sure where the cutoff point will be yet. We've done another trial fit of the quarter panel. We've trimmed off the flanged edge here so it fits a little more precisely and also trimmed the inner panel behind here. And you can see that the uh, template fits pretty good on both corners and lengthwise in the wheel well. So we're getting a little bit closer here. 